Well, hello. Let me just go ahead and turn on a light. So we have light. And then there was light. <laughs> welcome. There is light. So you can actually see me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so very, very much. I really appreciate everybody that's taken time to come and join me this morning. I'm back here at the celery fields on top of the hill, Sarasota, Florida. Happens to be the number one beach in the United States times two. Twice it was voted number one. Maybe not currently number one, but in my mind always number one. And certainly a wonderful place to go. You just cannot beat the uh, Quartz Sand Beach. Awesome, grounding, wonderful place. Powder sand. I enjoy it a lot. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a brand new day. And... It's actually cool. There's a bit of a breeze this morning, which is kind of nice. I'm really enjoying that. And for the first time on my live videos, I am wearing a mic so that I can definitely be heard. I, uh, it's a first try, so hopefully this works out pretty well. I did a quick check to see if it was working. It seemed to be working fine, so I'm glad for that, and I hope that you can hear me clearly. And so I just want to say again, thank you for joining me. Um, it's, like I say, a brand new day to enjoy. I'm just continuing on my day here in a positive manner. I'm very grateful to be here. Thankful that you all are taking time to come and join me, whether it happens to be live or whether it happens to be on the replay. Uh, this is awesome. It's an opportunity to connect with nature. I really enjoy doing this. This is great fun for me. I love being outdoors. And I love bringing uh, the opportunity for people to see what it's like here in Sarasota. I live in such a great place. We have such great attractions. And I just want to bring it to the world and let them be able to enjoy it as well. Uh, if you believe in transcendental med med <laughs> if I can get the words correct, transcendental meditation, correct. You can be sitting wherever you are, but you can be sitting right here with me enjoying this. It looks like a very spectacular sunrise is going to be happening here. That happens at about, well, gosh, now it's getting about closer to about 7 o'clock when that happens. So we've got a little ways to go here. What we're going to do is just sit back, listen to the birds and the crickets. Hopefully today maybe some rabbits. I do see one over there. So we do have rabbit today. I know I've got a uh, spider web here attached to me. <laughs> Because when I walked up, I walked through a spider web. Um, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, it's, it's all right there if you could see that. Anyways, yeah, it's still connected. Ah, okay, we'll get it off sooner or later. Uh, or we'll, we won't. So, anyways, I use it for introspection. I do. I repeat my uh, affirmation statements, uh, my positive affirmation statements. I also repeat my I am statements to just repeat my truths about my life and uh, where I'm going and affirming those truths and visualizing those uh, dreams and goals that I have and those personality traits that, that I uh, possess and uh, want to continue to possess. So I want to just uh, let you know I'm, it's an exciting day, really exciting day already. I've been up for a while. I always get up early. I get up, I start with my motivational videos. I enjoy that. Um, this is interesting with this spider web. <laughs> so I'm sure it's in the picture. Needless to say, uh, exciting, exciting day. My life is transforming, although that's what I just recently wrote, a chapter in this book, Transformational Change. My life is transforming. And it's transforming at a very fast pace. Things are really happening. I have a special, very special shout out this morning. Uh, yesterday I was blessed and proud to be able to meet uh, Sophie and uh, Bob with the Wisdom Cafe and also uh, Laughter Mindset. And they are such awesome people. They really enjoy the Live With Nature, so they did an interview with me about Live With Nature, and you will see that. That will be posted up in uh, the Wisdom Cafe here soon. And they are awesome individuals and awesome souls, and they have such wonderful stories. And I was so blessed to be able to, you know, uh, grasp a hold of that they wanted to talk to me about this broadcast. 
because it's a great opportunity to make this connection to nature. And that's what it's all about. And it's just about sharing this and it's about paying it forward. It's hopefully inspiring people. Hopefully those people inspire others and we all pay it forward. And we just try and make this world a better place, a more enjoyable place to be and help other people that might be suffering or not feeling well or dealing with, uh, I don't call them problems anymore. They're just issues that need to be resolved and work through and that's just all about thinking and it's all about perspective and so I try and remain positive and I can be human don't get me wrong I can get angry I can get upset I can get down but what I do is I just don't stay there very long anymore and so that's what's important is not staying in that unhappy moment changing my thinking to something positive substituting other things than things like a beer in my case, things like that, you know, going and having a coffee, love coffee, can enjoy that, big fan of Starbucks, so, you know, hey, uh, I get to make it at home and save a whole lot of money, (laughs) you know, that's what I do, Um, and I like sweets, yes, the truth about me is I do like sweets, (laughs) and so, uh, no, go to Publix, get a key lime pie, That's an awesome thing to do, and I do that too. So, you know, life is good. I hope life is good with you. So I'll just stop talking for a little bit. I will interact with the uh, comments. Feel free to make a comment. Feel free to go ahead and share this video out. Hit that like button. Smash the love button, as they say in YouTube language, I guess. And let's just enjoy this. Let's just enjoy the sun coming up. It is another spectacular sky this morning. So we'll just have a good time together. It's a great group of people. Get to know each other. Send friend requests to whomever you might like and enjoy that uh, puts a comment that says, ah, that sounds like an interesting person because we all are. So let's get to know each other. And it was so awesome to get to know people on a personal face-to-face level like I did yesterday with uh, Bob and Sophie. And so that's my real goal too is to be able to hopefully maybe someday meet all of you. And I have, for me, and I'm not trying to promote it, but I'm excited about it. And that is, you know, uh, those that know, uh, I recently was uh, a published author in a book. Uh, It's number 12 in a series uh, by John Spender and 10 other just awesome people that are now authors. And this morning, the exciting news was (laughs) unbelievable. Number one seller on Amazon, number one, number one, just incredible. Now that doesn't mean number one across the world, but I posted it and so we're number one in Australia right now, we're number five in the US, uh, it's in France, it's, it's a motivational and inspirational and spiritual book that really gives some meaning to people and hopefully gives some hope. So I was very excited about that. I mean, it's just like a mind blower for me. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyways, awesome. I always have a problem, stop talking. (laughs) God knows I've been accused of that. But if I can send a good message, that's what I'm trying to do. So, I'll go ahead and I'll just sit back down here. I'll put my glasses on so that I can actually read these comments. And uh, we'll sit back and enjoy the beautiful sky that's sitting in front of us. We'll also just enjoy the sun coming up. It's coming up shortly here. And I see Sonny. Welcome, Sonny, Sonny, and Petra. Welcome. And Antoinette, welcome to Live with Nature. And Stevie, thank you. I appreciate everybody that's taking time to come and join me. And Marg, welcome. Welcome, Aunt Marg. I saw your post. That was so awesome. Great pictures. Really enjoyed that. Sure did. So, yes, it's a great new day. And as as I've said before, we can paint the canvas of today any way we choose. I choose to paint my canvas in gratitude. And I choose positivity. And I'm just going to keep on going on a positive mode today. And I hope that you are too. So hopefully me wearing the mic will cut down on 
not being able to hear me, number one. Um, cutting down maybe on the traffic, because that always really bothers me a bit when I take the camera out front at the house. And I know I can hear that freeway rolling. And that's not so cool. Because it's not about live with nature with the traffic. It's about live with nature with the wildlife and the trees and the flowers and the rabbit that's sitting over here to my left, your right. As soon as it gets a little bit lighter here, I'll go ahead and we'll take a look at him. And then I have to be very careful, of course, not to trip on my mic because I'm connected to the phone. I mean the camera. The camera phone. Now you can probably hear me drinking my coffee too. But that might be a problem too. Can you hear the birds or not? Because that's important. May have to disconnect here. Sonny, are you still with us here? Let me know if you can hear the birds or not. Using this mic is a test. It's a test of the emergency live with nature broadcasting system. Is it better or is it worse? I know what I didn't do. I'll get it down one of these days. I will get it down. Welcome, Nathan. I never claimed to be uh, number one, I guess, a cameraman. It's all I'm learning by, you know, default. So I'll tell you what I am going to do. I, I am just going to go ahead and disconnect on this uh, speaker because so, I want everybody to hear the, these birds. There we go. That should work better. So if I'm bumping the camera, I'm just trying to invite a few people. This is, this is the drawback. I've got a new tripod coming, so it'll be a lot more stable. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully that gets shipped out very soon. Everybody's doing well now. We can hear the birds. Pretty sure with the mic on, that won't happen. I have to kind of reserve the mic for, I guess, interviews and direct discussions with people. So, in the meantime, the 
birds were up and we missed the lion's first welcome to today. I said, hi Stephen, how are you? How is everybody? Yeah, we're so cool. I most certainly need to get on uh, remembering that one's name. I have to go back and look at my own videos, which I don't do very often. It's something that I learned that I need to do. So I'll stop inviting. Welcome, Dean. Sorry that took me a minute, I wasn't seeing the screen. Dean, as I recall, has a new Facebook, I'm pretty sure, on uh, cooking and recipes. Apparently, Dean's a pretty good cook. Robert, well, welcome, my Canadian friend. Well, fellow Canadian. We also have another fellow, uh, well, Miss Marg is from Canada. Oh, yeah, she's my aunt. Love her. Haven't seen her in ages. I'm really looking forward for the day that... I get to be able to see her again soon. That will be so awesome, awesome, awesome. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I've done is perhaps if any of my relatives, well, I know one of them uh, is or was watching, and that's Marg. And I don't know that I tagged Marg, but I tagged as many as I could of my relatives, and I am trying to have a family reunion for the Smiths. And I'm really excited about it. You know, I'm really excited to bring the family back together and to meet all of my cousins. Kids, <laughs> right? Because family is so important. So I'm really excited about that, and I'm hoping that that my relatives will forward it on to everybody that they know that's a relative of Smith's, and or children, or grandchildren, or great-grandchildren, because it's really in memory of my grandfather and grandmother, Joyce and Jerry Smith, who uh, are, are dynamic souls, and my grandfather was so dynamic. Uh, super dynamic business person. His businesses are still going to these this day that he created back in the 70s. It's like, wow. So, oh, rabbit ran off. Darn it. And I didn't get him on camera. Good morning. Yeah, that's the thing, Robert. You know, as we get older, more and more, we lose more and more people, or more and more people pass on. And that's a tough part of life. It's an inevitable part of life. I mean, I'm not trying to make a joke about it, but the reality is we are born to die. It's, you know, that happens, it comes. But so what I'm trying to do for me is just, just make the best of every moment I've got and, and to value uh, the moments that I have here on earth because I never know when it will be the last moment. So I am really looking forward to getting the family together. So, and I've already had a couple and I'll shout her out and I was really hoping that, you know, she's one of the key, my key cousins, and she's so awesome, and that's Allison McIntyre-Smith. My God, she's so cool. And she reached out immediately and said, count me in. 
it's like, oh, I'm so glad. Because it was a call for, you know, some help. I cannot, I can't do it myself. It's a huge, daunting task. A lot to be worked out yet. So, yeah, I've got, my, I've got a lot of things going on. But that's a really important one. Just adjust this view here for us a little bit. There we go. I always like these little. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That last bird that you heard there is an osprey. It's a hawk. And they eat fish. And I did a video yesterday that I posted up of the osprey that's got a nest right at the entrance to the uh, Colonial Oak subdivision where I live. Very cool. Look, look right at me, looking and talking to us. It was like, God, it's so cool. just got to say that is one spectacular looking sky. All right, Dean, take care. Have a have a wonderful day. I know it's late there. Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy and have fun. My friend from Thailand.
Yes, honey. I know Dean's a great guy. Tried to plug him on his recipes and cooking. I don't know if it's a website exactly. I haven't really had an opportunity to look yet. So it's, yeah, a great day for, for me, for everybody that's still watching or that comes in on the replay and happens to catch this part of the video. Um, my life is just great, yeah, and that's just not even a good word for it. It's not descriptive enough. My life is wonderful. I'm so happy. And I'm so blessed. And one of the happiest things I'm enjoying, and I haven't posted it up yet, but it, it's coming. And that was yesterday. And I made it national. My, I made this up. It was me. But I made it national um, Grandpa Takes Granddaughter to Work Day. <laughs> And I took Harmony with me. That's my granddaughter, Rachel. Welcome. And so I took her with me to work, and we did some video. And we're going to work on splicing that video together. And then posting up our experience for that, for yesterday. I don't know. If there isn't a national grandpa take your granddaughter to work day, maybe I should get one going. remember that too August 1st yeah I'll do it so that's a lot of fun and the other side of this story is that uh, my sister whom I live with I live with my sister and my granddaughter and um, well I don't say um and ahs in my videos right okay yeah I just sat there and said that as an affirmation but okay I use other words. My sister is visiting relatives right now up in Canada, in Ontario, and she is with my mother. And so she left town for 10 days and left me in charge of Harmony. And so I'm taking, watch, well, I'm watching Harmony uh, on a full-time basis uh, the next uh, 10 days, which is pretty cool. And so I've got a lot on my table. You know, I've got to, after I'm done here, wrap up, head home, take care of cats, get Harmony all ready to go to Girls Inc., get her to work, or yeah, no, get her to Girls Inc., me to work. Yeah. And keep up to everything that's going on here. So it's, it's been fun. It's been, it's going to be demanding, but it's good. I'm, I'm thankful for that, you know, for what it's worth. I mean, certainly there was a day where Jody would certainly not <laughs> leave Harmony in my care, you know, because she couldn't, you know, she couldn't trust me. And it's a, it's a darn shame that that was the case, but it was, you know, whatever. I'm not that way anymore, and that's what the beauty of it is. I can be trusted now. Good morning. Good morning. Like to do this? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So. Yeah, for what it's worth, that story is actually now in writing in that book that was just released, or oh, chapter 7. And it's a very transparent, very honest uh, snapshot of my issue with alcohol. 
that I have uh, experienced in the past. And it took me to places I just didn't, uh, well, it wasn't very good. And so in the, in the chapter I share about that, and I share about many things, but, you know, that was a big part of my transformational change, you know, to, to just decide to do, you know, and make some good choices in life. Because life is short. And enjoying what's going on here is truly, absolutely wonderful. It's just peaceful. It's connectivity to the universe. It surrounds us in all its glory and beauty. Stop and smell the roses is what's coming to my mind. It's important to stop and smell the roses. Daniel, welcome to Sarasota, Florida. You have now entered the paradise of Sarasota, Florida. And a connection to nature. They are. I love the smell of roses. It's one of the, my most favorite things to have in my yard. Although right now, but then it isn't my house. It's Jody's house. And, you know, we're just renting. But I love raising roses. I, I love growing them. And I love smelling them. really hard sometimes just to slow down and and connect because we've got such busy lives we've got so much going on in our lives and you know we have to be accountable you know to people and places and things and uh, it makes it hard Makes it difficult, but it's about balance. It's about time management. And I just have to work at that every day to try and get better at it. And, and so I do. I, I work at it. The sky is just, in, I, I, yeah, indescribable. Mesmerizing, as Sonny puts it. It is mesmerizing. And I don't even know that it's reflective in the video, but it's almost like above the tree line there, which is the dark line of trees, it's almost like that's land. And then the clouds, it was, that's land, and then you have clouds on the horizon or something, and it looks like water almost to me. It looks like you're looking out on the ocean or something. Yes, mesmerizing, Sonny. Mesmerizing is correct. Good morning, Corrine. Yeah. 
Sonny, you're with me on this. I mean, it, um, it looks like I'm standing on a hill overlooking the ocean. Some of the clouds in the lower right-hand corner, well, those are islands. The swirls in the middle of it are like ripples in the water, you know, still areas in the water. I used to. <laughs> and yet, it's just the sky. It's not just the sky, it is the sky. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming to join me. I hope that, I know that this touches people in some way. I know it does. In a very special way. It's really awesome. Pretty much overcome with gratitude right now. Welcome, Jeff. Welcome, Danielle. Me too, Sonny. Just the vision of this. I know that you never, it's never the same on film. I know that it isn't. Never is. Until you're actually there in it. But we really can actually like almost really be there just through the film. The sun's coming up right now over the over the hill. Pretty sure I have the same view you all have. I'm gonna try and unconnect myself from this microphone because I don't really want to plug that back in right now. I've got it all wrapped up around me and stuff, so I gotta undo this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Virgie, welcome.
low vergy. Sun is up and visible and the light of love and the world and the universe is shining upon us. Get my glasses back on here, Sonny, so I can read your comment. Here we go, right here. Oh, not right there. See this comment. It is stunning. Very, very. So I'm back. Oh my gosh, I've got the flash still going here. So that's going to kill that battery. All right, that's off now. I don't want to run into the spider. It's like right here somewhere. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can stay right there. Awesome. I'll stay right here so that I don't back into them. Anyways, thank you. So thank you very much. Awesome day. It's a great day. I feel good and I hope that you're feeling good as well. And uh, thank you for joining me for the sun coming up. It is uh, Thursday and it's a brand new day. We can paint the canvas of it any way we choose. I choose positivity. And one of the positivity things I'm going to do is this. I'm going to mention because I do want to shout out again. I said this is the beginning of the video. I had the opportunity to meet Sophie and Bob yesterday with the Wisdom Cafe and Laughter Mindset uh, groups. And they are super awesome people. And if you want some good, good stuff, go check them out. Uh, they came into town, they were here. I was shocked honored and privileged that they called me up and said, Stephen, I want to meet with you. Uh, I like what you do with the Live with Nature, and I'd like to do an interview. So that interview, they're working on putting that together. That will be posted up soon. Uh, thank you very much for coming and joining me there. Uh, we got together down at the park, down at the uh, fishing pier where I go to, Eloise Worland uh, Park, and Hart's Landing, which is the bait shop, uh, and the Sarasota Pier on Sarasota Bay downtown and it was really fun it was such, they are such awesome souls with great stories and dynamic people that are doing one thing and that's what I'm trying to do make the world a better place make the world a place of love of, of understanding peace celebrate you know your higher power celebrate the law of attraction uh, the power of positivity, the power of caring, compassion, and understanding, and just trying to inspire people. And uh, I've been included in several groups recently that are just really dynamic, and I'm so grateful. Thank you, everybody, uh, that has uh, come to me and asked me to be involved. I really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate and I'm grateful for the people that come to watch this video. It is just great fun for me. I enjoy it. It's a connection to nature. It's here in Sarasota, Florida. I'm here in the subtropics. It's been a beautiful morning. I hope that you're going to have a good one. 
Now, I like to always end my videos or towards the end of my videos, say a prayer. I have a higher power. My higher power is God. I, I, I choose God as mine. I choose Jesus Christ as my Savior. Uh, I'm a human being having a spiritual experience and I am trying to enjoy every day. I'm trying to live, love, and laugh and just make the best of everything. I'm trying to uh, become the best person I can possibly be. I'm pursuing my purpose. My purpose is certainly to just simply uh, inspire people, share my story. Hopefully it inspires them to inspire others, to pay it forward without expectation of any kind of uh, you know personal gain as a result of it uh, and just share what I'm doing share my story and hopefully it touches people in a positive manner and uh, so my higher power makes this all happen that facilitates it that's the number one in my life and you know if you don't believe in my God that's okay I, I respect that I believe in the universal power of love I believe in the Christ consciousness I believe that everybody's entitled to an opinion and I don't have to always agree with them they don't have to agree with me and that's okay but uh, I know that I didn't create everything that we've got around here but I do know that I enjoy it and I think that you do too so I'm gonna pray now I'm gonna say dear Lord thank you so very much thank you so very much for today thank you for giving me another opportunity to bring this live with nature to be able to uh, share with people uh, I just ask that you would be with us, Father, in all that we do. Help us to have a positive sense of, of being. Help us to be able to overcome any obstacles that we might have and to break through new barriers and achieve new heights in our lives. Uh, Father, it's because of you that I am, and I am grateful. I give you all the glory. I ask that you be with us, heal us if we're suffering, Heal all those that are suffering or starving. Uh, help them to have food. Uh, be with the people that are suffering, uh, you know, nat natural uh, tragedies and or whether man-made man tragedies, Father. Um, and help us to stop war. Help us to stop fighting against each other. Help us to be able to get along and recognize that we're all connected in this uh, circle of life and that life can be good. It's a matter of perspective, Father. Help me to use the positive thoughts that I have in my head, put an action plan to it, and make it happen and manifest it in my life. Lord, allow us to manifest our dreams and our goals in abundance. And in Jesus' name, I pray these words. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Namaste and Namaskar. Take care. I really love you. And I appreciate you coming. I do. And so... Have a good day. Let's have a great Thursday and let's just make the best of it as we can. And in the meantime, I'll say this is Stephen Smith from Sarasota, Florida. I'll be signing off for now, but we'll see you soon. Okay, bye for now. Good morning, Jim. Thank you, Scott. I will. And Robert, you're awesome. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. It's a spectacular day. That is a serious glow from the sun. You're very welcome. What a spectacular view. Awesome, everybody. Take care. We'll see you all soon. Love everybody. Like I said earlier, this is such an awesome group of people. Get to know each other. If you don't know each other already, feel free to go ahead. I'm sure that it's okay for me to say this. Send them friend requests. Send me a friend request. Let's get to know each other. And let's hope that someday very soon that we'll be able to have the opportunity to meet each other in person. 
I know that that's my plan for uh, several of the people that I know. Hopefully it's a plan for all people that I know at some point that I'll be blessed to be able to meet you all in person. No rabbit, no. We had the rabbit right over here, but he took off. So yeah, there we go. Take care, everyone. Let's rock today. Let's make it a day of random acts of kindness. Do something for somebody without any expectation and blow their mind. It's always fun. It's such a great feeling, too, by the way. I, I know I love it. So I'll do that, but I got to run. I've got a whole lot yet to do, and uh, y'all take care.